In this video, we'll go ahead and take a look at the area of polygons. You should open up your formula sheet and have that ready, as these formulas do not need to be memorized, but you can refer to the sheet each time. We've got the rectangle. The formula for the area is base times height. For a parallelogram, this is also base times height. For a triangle, this, the area is found by taking one half the base times the height. For a trapezoid, we have the area is equal to one half the height times the sum of base one and base two. For a rhombus, our area is found by taking one half diagonal one times diagonal two. The same for the kite, one half diagonal one times diagonal two. We'll take a little bit closer detail into the rhombus and kite. Again, your area is found by taking one half diagonal one times diagonal two. Both of these have diagonals that intersect at right angles. In each case, the sum of the areas of the triangles will equal the area of the figure. So if you wanted to, you could take each little triangle separately, find your right angle and go from there and find the area of each triangle and add them together. Find the area of the parallelogram. When we find the area of a, pa a parallelogram, we have area equals one, I'm sorry, area equals base times height. Ooh, there we go, base and height. When we take a look at the parallelogram, the base, and the height come together where you would form a right angle. So if you see in our shape here, we've actually extended it out. So we've created this almost triangle there that's a right triangle. So we can figure out how tall the shape is. The height of it is 15. And the base of it is actually the length here. Remember, your bases will be parallel to each other. So there we have our bases. So if our height is 15, the distance from base to base, the base length is 12. When we go ahead and multiply this out, we'll find our area to be 180. And this will be units to the second power, units squared. When we find the area of a triangle, our area of a triangle is 1 half base and height. And again, that base and height are where our two sides, if they might be internal, they might be external to the shape, um, form that right angle. So here we have our right angle. They are formed by the sides that are 12 length and 21. So we have the area will equal one half our base times our height. Pop that into your calculator. You'll get your area to be 126. Again, this will be units squared. The area of a triangle is 50 inches squared. Its base is four times its height. Find the base and height. The picture to the right definitely helps. We know our formula for area is one half base and height. We know in this shape that the area will be 50 inches squared. So I'm going to put my 50 in for area, one half. My base is 4H, my height is H. So we're going to keep working on this. I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. So maybe put a bracket there. Multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that fractional coefficient. We'll get 100 equals 4H times h. I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides. And we'll get 25 equals h times h, which we can write that instead as h squared. And to get our answer, we're going to go ahead and take the square root on both sides. And we'll find our h to be 5. Because we're talking about a unit of measure, a distance, this will always be the positive root. So our height is five. 
it also says find the base and the height. Well, here we have the height. The base then is equal to 4h, and we know our h is 5, so our base will be 20. And we should include the units. These are in inches. Next, we'll take a look at the area of a rhombus. The area of a rhombus is found by taking one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So here we can see that our diagonals are written out just half of the diagonal. So one diagonal here will be 14, the other diagonal will be 24. When we go ahead and calculate this, our area will equal 178, oh wow, 168, and this is centimeters squared. Area is always to the second power on our units of measure. Find the area of the kite, the formula is the same. Area equals one half, diagonal one, times diagonal two, So when I take a look, I know this is 2, this is 8, so one of my diagonals will be 10. What do we think about that other diagonal? It says from n to r is 6. Do we think over here this is also 6? And then we can go ahead and multiply, and we should get the area of this kite to be 60 feet squared. Next it says find the measure of the areas, uh, I'm sorry, find the measure of the bases in the trapezoid if the area is 95 meters squared. So first we need our formula, 1 half times the height, base 1 plus base 2. Our area equals one half the height. Our height in this shape is the distance from base to base. Base the bases would be those parallel sides. So based on the picture, it looks like our height will be ten. Base one might be x plus three, and base two might be x. So I'm going to set it up this way. And I know my area is 95 meters squared, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And x plus 3 plus x will be 2x plus 3. So we're adding up some polynomials there. Half of 10 is 5. So if I keep working this this way, I'm going to go ahead and divide by 5 everywhere to get rid of that 5. We'll end up with 19 equals 2x plus 3. Subtract 3 on both sides. Divide by 2. We'll get our x value to be 8. It asks us to find both the bases. So I know one of my bases is eight. My second base, base two, or base one, depends on which one you wanna call base one, base two, but would be 11. And these would be meters. We've got a bunch of you try, so I would suggest pausing the video here, going ahead and applying your, pro your formulas to these shapes, and then unpausing the video to check in and see how your answers are. Okay, for the first one, the area of a parallelogram, we have base times height, 20 times 11. Find x in the parallelogram. We know our area is 70 feet squared, so this would be 70 equals 10 times x, our x in this case would be seven feet. Find the area of the rhombus. The area is equal to one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So area equals one half, 24 times 36. 
when you calculate that, you get 432 meters squared. Be careful when you're working on these parallelograms that you recognize that the base and the height are the two dimensions that come to create that 90 degree angle. So if I were to put this 90 degree angle up here, instead you would see base and height come together 20 times 11 for that shape. Next we'll find the x in the kite given its area is 72.25 meters. So again, our formula is area equals one half diagonal one times diagonal two. We can see our diagonals are two x and x. We go ahead and plug in. So we have 72.25 equals one half two x times x. Multiply by two on both sides, we'll get 144.5 equals two x squared. Divide by two. And then take the square root, we'll get our x value to be 8.5. For letter E, I highly suggest drawing a picture. One diagonal of a kite is three times as long as the other diagonal. The area of the kite is 34 inches squared. So here I've drawn my kite. I've decided that this diagonal will be 3x, the other diagonal will be x. Again, the formula area is equal to 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. They tell us that our area is 384. We plug it in. 384 is equal to 1 half 3x times x. I choose to multiply by 2 to get rid of that fraction right away. So I've got 768 equals 3x squared. Divide by 3 and then take the square root. We'll figure out that our x is 16 inches. So that is one diagonal. In order to find the other diagonal, we're just going to plug it into our expression 3x. 3 times 16 gives us our second diagonal of 48 inches. Okay, make sure you follow your formula sheet carefully and really identify the correct dimensions that you're plugging in. And then the rest is order of operations. Make sure you follow that order of operations and carefully use your calculator.